Good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. Here is a fast update on everything you need to know with regards to our winter storm. When will it start raining, freezing rain? When will it snow? And what is the latest on snowfall amounts? Details coming up fast and furious right here. But first, Hutch's Weather is out with the app. Search Hutch's Weather in the App Store today. Hutch's Weather in your App Store. Download today and stay ahead of any storm. Let's get to that hour-by-hour -hour forecast first, and we'll do that coming up right now. Now, a Hutch's Weather Update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. All right, thanks again for watching. Here's a look. We do have warnings across portions of the valley. Now let's take a look at what's going on with regards to oh, oh, our hour-by-hour -hour details with this storm system. As we head into the early morning hours, central North Dakota with bands of heavy rain, where that heavy precipitation lines up with the low-pressure center working its way through and the front pushing in, we're going to see some accumulating ice as well. So we're going to have some showers of freezing rain and ice, and that will freeze on our surfaces this morning as we go through. This will be moving into the valley as we head into the mid-morning hours. So Fargo's best chance comes as you get to work and just after. Up north, the snow begins. And look at this. It turns to rain behind the freezing rain here on the I-94 corridor. Depending on how cold that road surface is, we could see some very slippery spots in south-central North Dakota, including the I-20 or I-94 corridor, the I-29 corridor, and the Highway 200 corridor, as well as the Highway 2 corridor west of Devil's Lake. Snow beginning out in the Devil's Lake Basin as we go through mid-morning. That band of snow will continue to slowly work its way off to the south and to the east, and we have snow beginning by midday. Notice that the rain and freezing rain potential in the early part of the day in Fargo switches over briefly to some snow showers here in Fargo, and the heaviest band of rain right here, meaning a heavy or narrow band of heavy snow possible, very close to Fargo, but more likely off to the east of it as we go through the day. Then it changes back to rain, folks, as we go through. So maybe what falls in Fargo melts again. And boy, things are just going to be slushy, setting the stage for these gusty north winds that transport bitter cold air into the valley. And as temperatures fall and winds gust over 60 and even over 70 miles per hour in places, we're going to have a flash freeze in some spots, causing some very slippery travel conditions, even in areas that get very little snow. Watch it. And up north, the wind really picks up after the snowfall. Not as windy across Minnesota as this snow falls through places like Park Rapids, Monoman, uh, Becker County, in the northern reaches and eastern reaches and northern otter tail county this is hubbard county right here for park rapids and down into wadena and todd counties as well as the brainerd lakes area i'll get you a better view of the region here gusty winds out in the west will exceed 60 miles per hour that's damaging wind there is a risk to high profile vehicles traveling east and west in winds like this you could be toppled there. Now, the rest of the afternoon drive will have the snowiest conditions up north. The wind really starts getting strong from the east here in northern Minnesota and then abruptly switch to the north. Fargo switches back to the snow showers as we head into the evening hours. Some of our worst conditions here in Fargo will be in the evening drive and toward 10 to midnight as the snow and the wind whips its way around from the north and the cold starts taking hold. Now, as we go through the overnight hours, notice the isobars get farther apart after midnight the wind begins decreasing but folks it will howl over 40 miles per hour for most of north dakota as we go through the overnight hours with some 50 mile per hour gusts hitting the uh, i-94 corridor of minnesota going late into the nighttime hours and if you are looking at that forecast for the twin cities it does look like as we go through midnight and beyond into the early morning hours, that's when you'll have a chance at getting a dash of snow and gusty wind as well. How about snowfall totals? Here's the latest and what you need to know. Let's start here. Ice. As that ice makes its way through, we could get accumulations up to around a quarter of an inch. Um, we could have rain. Then we could have slush that freezes, and that's called a flash freeze. That becomes an icy mess. Sleet, transparent ice falls, could be right along that boundary between the snow and the uh, the rain that's going on out there. And we could certainly have uh, this problem all the way into the early evening before things become more snow potential than ice. So watch it. It will be slippery across the entire diagonal along the leading edge of the heavy snow. Fargo here in the one to four category in the blue, very quickly 
moving towards the four inch and in the northern parts of Clay County and out towards Becker County as well. Becker County, northern and eastern Otter Tail, Wadena County, Hubbard County, Bemidji up there in the uh, Beltrami County area, right into Duluth, isolated 10 inches in this band. Four to six is a good bet for Grand Forks and isolated places will see seven to 10 inches of snow in that heavier band dropping off in places like War Road and out in the uh, Kennedy uh, area near uh, Kitson County, rather, you could see t uh, snowfall amounts closer to that four inch mark the way things are looking as we head into the day. Now, the winds are going to increase mainly after the snowfall, but the worst, worst, worst is going to be from about six to midnight here in the valley. And then as the snow exits and the wind gradually decreases, we'll start to see improved conditions. Noon, wind west. Then as we head into the midday, the wind starts ripping all the way across North Dakota with gusts over 60, 60 miles per hour possible at times as we go through. Now watch what happens as we set this into motion and go toward the midnight hour. The strongest winds start sliding south into the Sisseton Hills, into the Missouri River Valley, and southern Minnesota with gusts right into the Twin Cities that will be close to 50 miles per hour. In, this could cause impacts including power outages, trees downed or branches down. Uh, debris flying around from trees and branches and maybe your lawn furniture as well. If you still have lawn furniture out, watch those shovels and those trash cans as you're taking things out. I'll keep you updated right here. Remember, Hutch's Weather has the brand new app. Get the app today. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at that as you wrap up your morning. If you go to download the weather app, search Hutch's Weather in your app store and a couple of uh, items of note with regards to the app couple of really cool features with that. Now, number one, you can go ahead and download the app and get information on latest watches and warnings. It lets you know when snow is approaching your area as well. And another good thing to know about Hutch's Weather app is the fact that you get that opportunity to have all of the information at your fingertips. So download it, open it up, make sure you allow it to follow you whenever you go and where, wherever you're there. And uh, scroll down, you can get the latest road reports as well as the snowfall reports on the OK Tire Road Report page. There's your radar with the hour by hour forecast facts on it. You can switch from radar to forecast radar. And also you can get your latest on weather alerts and what's going on across the region. Upload your photos, sign the kids up to be a Hutch's weather kid, snow reports and brand new because you requested it. And I think it's fun. Hutch gear, shop some merch as you head to the holidays for those hard to buy for gifts out there. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated right here throughout the day. You can count on it. And remember, you can always get the latest videos right here on Hutch's Weather app by clicking on this. You'll see the latest videos posted and we'll talk to you very soon. Thank you so very much for helping Hutch continue to do what I love. This has been a Hutch's Weather Update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching Hutch's Weather Anywhere, anytime at HutchesWeather.com